Greetings and blessings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is my blessing and privilege to speak to you today morning. I hope you have a great and blessed day ahead. Let us turn your attention into 2 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 7. In this particular verse, we can see the King Solomon, the wisest king alive on earth, has an encounter with God in one night. The God himself comes down to him at that night and it had God to ask Solomon, ask me whatever and I will give it to you. It is an astonishing verse where the creator of the universe coming down to a man who God had chosen to be a king over Israel and he asks him, ask me whatever you want and I will give it to you. I don't think anybody else would get that kind of privilege to be asked. If it was us, we would be over the moon to even have us to have an encounter with an angel, even in our dreams. It would be a greatest thing to know. But here King Solomon has an encounter with God. But what made God come down to earth and made him say this to Solomon. In the above verses and the above chapters we see Solomon had gone to the Ark of Covenant and had given thousand burnt offerings on the bronze altar. We can see the Ark of Covenant is very important in the Old Testament and his father King David had brought it back from the Philistines and brought it back to Jerusalem. Firstly, when David had passed away, Solomon reigned as the king. The first thing that he did was, he went back to the Ark of Covenant. He offered thousand burnt offerings and he gave himself away in that. And that night, God appeared to Solomon. What does this tell us? The Holy Spirit is reminding us Whenever we start something, whenever there is a new beginning, we have to give ourselves into the Ark of Covenant. What does the Ark of Covenant symbolize? The Word of God. It is reminding us the importance of giving ourselves into the presence of the Word of God. When we prioritize the Word of God, when we have an encounter with God, there God comes down and changes your season. And he says, ask me whatever and I will give it to you. Dear child of God, make the word of God your priority. And God is ready to change your season into a season where he asks, ask me whatever and I will give it to you. May God bless you.